hello and welcome so in this video we will be um, taking the definition for topology and also give some examples of what topological spaces are so just a quick introduction about what topology is so let me read what's here for you Topology is one of the most active areas in all of mathematics. Traditionally, it is considered one of the three main areas of pure mathematics, together with algebra and analysis. Recently, topology has also become an important component of applied mathematics, with many mathematicians and scientists employing concepts of topology to model and understand real-world structures and phenomena. The word topology literally means the study of position or location. Topology is the study of shapes, including their properties, deformations applied to them, mappings between them, and the configurations composed of them. So <coughs> this is just some quick introduction about what topology is, OK? So we're now coming to start with our video. That's the definition of topological spaces, okay? And this is a bit technical. And for you to understand topology, the study of topology, um, then you have to really understand this definition very well because almost everything rests on this definition. <coughs> so let X be a set, a topology. Tau on X is a collection of subsets of X, each called an open set, such that three conditions are met. So we have a set X, then based on that set X, we are going to have subsets, right? So when you have the subset, then a collection of them, such that these three conditions are satisfied, are what we call topological spaces. So the first condition is that the empty set and the full set should be in our tau here, our topology tau, it should be in. Then the second point is that if we should find the intersection of finitely many sets in tau, then the results we get should also be in tau. So this is tau. Then the third point is that the union of any collection of sets in tau are also in tau. Okay, so we have three conditions which has to be satisfied. The first one is that the empty set and the full set should be in tau, that they should be open sets. The second point is their intersection should be in tau and their union should also be in tau. Okay, so these are the three conditions which has to be satisfied. Okay, so to make sure you really understand this definition, we are going to solve several examples, okay? And don't worry, by the time we are done solving the examples, you would have gotten everything, okay? <coughs> so, the set X, together with the topology tau on X is called a topological space. Then note, there are two things that make up a topological space, a set X and a collection tau of subsets of X that forms a topology on X. So to be properly formal, we should refer to a topological space as an ordered pair. But to simplify notation, we follow the common practice of referring to the set X as a topological space leaving it implicitly understood that there is a topology on x okay so this is just a quick note so now let's solve some questions to understand the definition so my first um example that i'm going to solve is that um determine all the possible topologies on x equals a b okay so we are going to solve this and you realize that it's not that difficult So we have the set x equals a, b. So we have to form 
topologies tau from this x and this topology tau happens to be a collection of what subsets of x which satisfies some three conditions so collection of subsets of x which satisfies three conditions okay so that means the first thing we have to do is to get a subset for our set x here so x is equal to a b the number of elements in our x right so we know the number of elements in x is just two right so um when you're finding for the subset so that means n is two here <coughs> and we know from our normal mass right that when you're finding for the subset is giving us two power n so that means the number of subsets here will be two power two which should be four so let's form the subsets of x so we always know that when it comes to forming subsets always the empty set is one of them and the full set x is also a subset of itself then the other one that we can have is a and b so these are the four subsets that we can get from x equals a b so now from this subset we are coming to have a collection on them and try and see if the three conditions are satisfied so if any of the three conditions are satisfied then we say that we have topologies defined on them okay all right so i hope you understand what you've done so far so let's take the first collection tau equals the empty set and the full set x so, from the definition of what a topological space is, from this definition, we said that phi and x, that's the empty set in the full set x, should be in tau. So, when it comes here, we can see that this condition is satisfied, right? We have the empty set and the full set being in tau. So, that means the first condition is satisfied. Then the second condition says that when you find the intersection of the elements, we should get something which is also in tau. And so let's work that one out. So when we find the intersection of our empty set and our full set, we are going to get the empty set, which is in what tau. You can see we have the empty set here. So that means the second condition is also satisfied. Then now let's look at the last condition. It says the union of any collection of sets in tau should also be found in what tau so when we find the union of the empty sets in the full set we get the full set x which is also in what tau we can find it here so that means that this collection that we selected here is a topology or it is so it's a topological space Or we see tau is a topology defined on x or on x okay so let me just give you some some more information here whenever you have any collection whenever you have any sets x okay always the collection of the empty set and the full set is a topology it's always a topology and this is the smallest topology you can ever get so is the smallest topology and this is a special kind of topology and we call it the indiscrete topology okay so we call it the indiscrete topology and that's the smallest topology you can ever get okay and there is another name for it Another name for it is the trivial topology. Okay. <clears throat> so now let's try and get more topologies from our collection. Okay. So let me come here and select another one. So I, I, maybe I took out to be um, phi x and 
A. Okay, so this collection. So you could see that the first condition is satisfied. The empty set is in tau. The full set X is in tau. Then when you find the intersection, let's see if we get something in tau. So you could see that when you find the intersection of phi and X and A, this will give us phi, which is in what? Tau. You find the intersection of, let's say, X and A. You are going to get A, which is in tau. Right? So that means the second condition is satisfied. Then, if you should find the union of any of the elements there, you realize that that is also found in tau. So that means that this thing here is also a topology defined on X. Okay. So actually, we can have four topologies from this. Then the third one that we can define will be tau equals phi x and b. You can try to check for the conditions. You realize that they will all be satisfied. So this is also a topological space. Then the last one that we can get on the set x equals a, b is having all the subsets, the collection of all the subsets. So you could see that this is a collection of all the subsets. And when you check for the three conditions, you realize that they are satisfied. Okay. So this is also a special kind of topology that we call the discrete topology. So when you have a full set X, a collection of all the subsets of that X is called a discrete topology. Okay. So that means we've learned two special types of topology here. The indiscrete or trivial topology and a discrete topology. Okay. Alright, so <coughs> there is it. Okay, so now let me try and give you something. So we have a full set X equals. So this is a different question. Let's say example two. Equals A, B, and C. Then we have tau defined on it to be phi X. A and B. And my question is, is this thing here a topology on X? Is it a topology on X? So, before we can show that, then we have to check for the three conditions, okay? So, you could see that the first condition is that the empty set and the full set should be in tau. We have it here, so that means it's satisfied. And the second condition is that when you find the intersection of any of the elements here, we should get something which is also in tau. So here, let me take A and B. When you find the intersection of A and B, she realize that this will give you A, B. But do we have any elements in our tau which is A, B? You can see that that's not true, okay? This is not in tau. So that means that even with this condition, tau can't be topological space okay so this is how we use and um, it can be a topology on x so this is how we use um the three conditions to be able to show whether something is topology or not okay so we are going to end today's video here and we are going to continue with the next video in the next video so thank you